Hey guys, this is Mitch with Fine Point CGI, and today I wanted to say thank you. We've reached 5,000 subs, and I really couldn't do without you guys. And it just blows my mind that uh, we are at 5,000 subscribers. So I thought I would do a channel update thanking you guys, and of course, just giving you guys a general idea of what's coming down for the next year or so. I think it's been almost a year and a half since I've done my last channel update, so I figured that it'd be good for me to have a conversation with you guys. So, what are some things coming down? Um, I'd like to do some Blender tutorials. I know some people have asked me to do Blender tutorials, so that is coming. Um, I'd love to do a Basics with Blender series for uh, game developers. And I'm really wondering what we should make. So maybe you guys could uh, throw some stuff in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. What should we build? Maybe a level or um, some assets, you know? I did think about maybe doing like a wintry scene. Maybe, um, you know, it's the end of the world and the world has frozen over or something. And, and we could build like a small level with a bunch of level assets and... Um, really do it all inside of blender and and just show off how to work with blender and show how to do all the things that you would need to do like materials lighting um you know texture baking stuff like that also coming down the pike if you've been wondering what kind of godot 4 content i'm going to be doing with godot 4 going into beta since there's not going to be any really new features to speak of now is the time that I'm going to start doing a Basics with Godot 4 series where we're going to build a horror game. I asked some of my uh, community members what they were thinking and what would be interesting. And it seems like a first-person horror game has kind of won the general consensus. So it looks like we'll be going that direction. So I'm going to ask you guys, you know, give me some ideas. What what are some things that we could make as a horror game maybe you know a spooky alien game where it's actually scary and you don't get a gun to defend yourself but you actually have to you know solve puzzles and maybe escape from an alien ship after getting abducted or maybe we could do something like a cave diving uh game where you are underwater and you have you know no oxygen or you have limited oxygen and you have to try to you know survive slash you know, dodge some kind of evil beast that's trying to kill you. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any cool ideas that maybe we could build a small game together. You know, I'd love to go through the process of, of planning it all out and then, you know, designing it, creating a game design document, getting some concept art, and then actually building into a production level game and releasing it out on Steam. And I think that would be cool. It'd show off Godot 4 and it would give us a full game series that somebody could go through and really learn a lot about the game engine. So let me know what you guys think. And I know some people have been asking me about my website. Some people have gone to my website and said, Hey, you haven't posted anything recent. And yes, I know I am so far behind on my website. It was such, it's a thing that I want to do. I just haven't had the time. And any time that I have a choice between making a video or researching a video versus putting something on my website, generally the video wins. So I'm going to have to figure something out with that, especially since I'm getting involved with some writing opportunities and I don't want... Since I'm exploring those, that's also taking up some of my time. So it's kind of difficult for me to to balance everything especially with work so i will get to those articles i just hope it's sooner than later but we'll have to see finally some people have asked me about um, how they can support me you don't have to and it's not expected by any means and i am not doing this for money i'm doing this because i believe in free open source software and i just really like game design and gaming as a topic so that's the reason why i do these tutorials now if you really feel like you have to support me i do have a patreon and you can 
support me on that link is as always in the description but do not feel at all required to do it any contributions to that will go to the channel itself it doesn't go to me individually it just goes to the channel so for instance i'm saving up for a mac so we can do ios content and mac based content so that'd probably be the easiest way to support me or of course you can donate using youtube's own donation system though i've never really used that so i'm not sure how that works and finally i just like to give a shout out to my actual patreons because they never get a shout out from me anyway. So I just want to say thank you guys for donating money to me. I really appreciate everything you guys have done for me up until this point. But with all of that being said, I'm looking forward to the next year. I'm looking forward to the next 10,000 subscribers. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I do have some things that I'd like to do for the community. And I'd like to really give back to you guys. But that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much again for everything and for watching. And I will see you all next time. Thanks.